Hi, good morning. Welcome to the post office. How can I help you? Hi, good morning to you as well. I'm actually here. I'm trying to send this package for my grandson in college. And I wanted to get some assistance with that. Oh, absolutely. I can help you with that. You can go ahead and put it on the scale. So we can see the weight. Okay. I can do that. Okay. So give me a few seconds. Let me punch that in. Okay, so the total is $19.90. $20? Oh my goodness, you guys are very expensive. You guys are very, I cannot believe it's $20 to send this to my grandson. All that's in there is some cookies that I've baked, you know, and some candies for his friends. I'm telling you, I will pay it this time, but I don't, this is just too expensive for me. I don't understand this. Here you go. Hi, good morning. I know, and that's what I've been trying to tell him. Hi, I would like to get three stamps. Sure. Would you like those three stamps to be individual stamps or rolls, or would you like them in sheets? I'm sorry, I, I wasn't speaking to you. Uh, could I get three single stamps? Oh my gosh. <laughs> so you're not speaking to me. So are we speaking now? Okay. If you could take a moment off of your phone and just glance down at these options that we have here. Um, we have stamps that are old-fashioned we have a little bit of vintage here and there we have christmas theme we have holiday themes we have um inspiring themes we also have flags um, which is our standard and we were at the party i went to the party with them i went to the party they were by the flags the flags yes can you believe that the flowers were picked up. The flowers. Yes. So flowers or flags. And we were at the party. I went to the party with them. I went to the party. They were by the flags. The flags. Yes. Can you believe that? The flowers were picked up. The flowers. Yes. Your total is a dollar thirty six. Yes, that's what I'm trying to understand. Yes. Uh, uh, no, I'm ma'am, this is not what I asked for. Oh. Oh, so you're you're speaking to me now, right? You you're you're speaking to me. I just want to I just want to make sure you're speaking to me now, right? Ma'am, since you walked in here, you have not given me your undivided attention. You've went from flags, you've went from rolls, you've went from flowers. You're all over the place. You're confusing me. Okay? You clearly don't know what you want. I asked for flowers. This is not flowers. This is flags. You, you know what? Whatever. I'll just, I'll just take them as it is. Thank you. Hi, how are you today? Hello to you too. I haven't been to the post office in a long time. I know some things have changed. I'm sorry. What, what, what does that say on your name tag? Ross. Is that sure for Rosslyn? No, it's, it's just Ross. Wow. That's an interesting first name. That's a very interesting first name. Oh, is it? I don't know what to tell you. 
So where did you grow up? I grew up in the area of where I'm from. Oh no, I meant to ask where are your parents from? Is what I is what I was trying to say. Yeah. Um, uh, my parents were not raised in this country, so it's pointless for me to even give you that information because your brain will not be able to process it. Where did you go to high school? I went to a private high school in a different country. Okay, I figured. Okay. I'm I'm just you know, just really curious, you know, just well, I was just really curious. I'm just trying to understand why you know, uh, uh, you would be named Ross, you know, a female, you know, is usually a, a, a name that a boy has. I just, you know, I thought that it, it, it was for Rosaline or Rosanda or something, you know, I was just trying to understand why a female would be named Ross, you know, but um, uh, I came here to see if I can get some, some uh, forwarding address form they are right over there to your left. Mm-hmm. Right. Oh, okay, I see them. Thank, thank you so much, Ross. Very interesting name. Hello, sir. Oh, hey. Yeah, I just need to get two sheets of stamps. Hi there. How can I help you? How are you guys doing in here? It's very cold outside. Oh my goodness. Yes, I just came to see if you guys had any forever stamps. You know, I was there, right? I was there in the midst of it. It was 35 years ago. What? Excuse me? My husband has not been the same. We traveled so far. We, we've, we've traveled to so many countries. You wouldn't believe the things that we've seen. Ma'am, are you also able to see that we close in 10 minutes and I have a long line of customers waiting to get in? You wouldn't believe some of the countries that we've been to. So cold. This is nothing. Nothing compared to that. We are very fortunate here. We are. Because when you travel the world, you just have a different outlook on life. You're young. You'll, you'll, you'll understand one I've day. I've been waiting in line and for so long. I just need to send these traveled mails. Traveled across the country. Tax yes, return I understand. Um, how can I help you today? Yes. You know, my grandmother used to collect stamps. She had so many beautiful collections. A lot of vintage stamps. They were so beautiful. Yes. They were so beautiful, you know. And my uncle on my great-grandmother's side... He was poisoned. He went to a restaurant and the food that he ate, they still don't understand what happened. But, you know, the... Uh, uh, Ma'am! I'm sorry. I just uh, wanted to buy some stamps. But, um, like I was saying, um, it's just a long, long road to go in life. I don't have People time think for that this. life is short. Life is not short. It depends on how you live it. Think about it. It really depends on it. You know, uh, uh, do you have anyone with flowers? Any, any stamps with flowers? Uh, I like those. You, you, you could give me a few sheets of those. And um,
absolutely ridiculous. I've never waited in the post office line this long. I just want to thank you for your service. You guys are heroes here at the post office. Thank you so much. How much do I owe you? Okay. Here you go. Okay. Thank you so much.